compound probability is a probability of one or more events put together. The addition rule helps us calculate or probabilities. The probability of event A or B, denoted by this collection of symbols, the probability of A or B, can be calculated by counting the number of ways A can occur and the number of ways B can occur in such a way that no event is counted twice, then dividing by the total number of outcomes. A simple example. What is the probability that when a card is selected from a well-shuffled deck of cards with no jokers that a red card or a four is selected? Well, it's important to know that there are 52 cards in a standard deck of playing cards. Since we don't have jokers, we'll just assume there are 52 cards. There are 13 cards in each suit, hearts, diamonds, clubs, and spades, and the red suits are just hearts and diamonds. So if I want to know the probability of a red card or a four, I need to know how many red cards there are. Well, there are 26. And I need to know how many fours there are. Well, it wouldn't matter if it said three or 10. They're the same number of all the numbered cards. There's one in each suit, so they're four all together. But two of these are already red, so I've already counted two of them. So I don't need to count four of them. I only need to count two of them. So there are 28 cards that are either red or a four out of 52. Well, we should reduce this fraction to 7 thirteenths. So there's our probability of selecting a red card or a four. The formal addition rule says we could have also calculated that by finding the probability of A, adding it to the probability of B, and then taking away the probability that the two events occurred simultaneously. So let's take a look at what that looks like. The probability of, the probability of red or a four would then be the probability of a red plus the probability of a four minus the probability that we have both a red and a four at the same time. Okay, well there are 26 out of 52 red cards. There are four out of 52 fours, just like there are four threes and four twos. And then the question, how many red fours are there, right? How many cards are both red and four at the same time? Well, there are two. The four of hearts and the four of diamonds. Well, when we add those, we'll get 30 minus two is 28 out of 52. We get that same probability. So using what I like to think of as the intuitive approach or the formal approach, both give us the same probability.